Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about methods to block ads in popular web browsers. Ads can slow down page browsing, they can crash your browser depending on what plugins they require, additionally they can spread malware whether you click on them or not. I would like to say beforehand that ads do provide revenue to websites, so if you enjoy the content that websites provide, uh, please do leave ads on so that they can still get money. That said, uh, let's start with Mozilla Firefox because it's the browser I use daily and I'm most comfortable with it. So we go to the Firefox menu, choose add-ons, and then in the search box we just type in adblock, one word, and then we install adblock plus just by clicking install. You're presented with this screen that shows your subscribe to the fanboys list. This list is just a compilation of ad uh, websites and elements that uh, if you come across them in browsing they automatically get blocked. So let's close the browser and restart it to fully install the add-on. Uh, to view the add-on we should right click on the top and add the add-on bar and then the lower left you can see the adblock plus icon. If we go to options you can see that uh, uh, Flash and Java elements now will show tabs over them. Aesthetically it's not too pleasing so if you don't want to see the ad, the, the tabs, you can just disable it here. Uh, if you go to filter preferences you can add more lists. I usually run with both fanboys list and easy list because it covers pretty much every ad you can think of. So we click close and we go to a website. Usually uh, you'll see ads pop up or you'll see them on the sides, but right now they're being blocked. So let's uh, unblock them for now by middle clicking the adblock plus icon and refreshing the page. As you can see there was a blocked Google ad here and also another ad here. So if we middle click adblock plus again those elements automatically get blocked. If you left click adblock plus uh, and go to open blockable items. You can see the lines in red are the pieces that are being blocked right now. If we again middle click adblock plus and refresh, no more red. Everything's being let through. You can selectively block items by right clicking and clicking block this item or you can simply hit enter and you can add filters here if you want. You can add custom filters depending on uh, what sites. Some, some, fil some sites require very strong filters to get rid of the ads, but for the most part the list will handle everything for you. So that's in Firefox. Let's go ahead and uh, move over to Google Chrome because Google Chrome also has uh, an Adblock Plus made by the same developers. So if we click the settings button and go to extensions, you can browse the gallery, type in adblock just like in Firefox, and then we add the second item on the list, adblock plus. So once we add that, we can close the browser, reopen it, and then if we go back to settings and extensions, we can go to the options here. Uh, Usually what happens when you go to a website, instead of in the lower left in Firefox, you'll see the adblock icon in the top right in the address bar. So you can add filters just like in Firefox. Uh, fanboys list is enabled by default. You can add more lists if you want. I'm going to add easy list again. So let's go to a site. Let's go to Huffington Post again, just like last time. As you can see, the ads the same Google ads are blocked. We can disable blocking of ads and refresh the page and those ads pop up again. Now Google Chrome does not have a middle click functionality. Left click and middle click do the same thing and you can't globally enable or disable ad block unless you go back into the settings and enable or disable the add-on directly. So it's a little less convenient than Firefox, but it still works basically the same. Uh, you can't really, you also can't 
show a list of elements like in Firefox. So that part is gone. Let's head over to Internet Explorer. Now Internet Explorer doesn't have an Adblock Plus add-on and in fact they don't have very many add-ons at all. However, they do have an integrated uh, list function. So if you go to the safety menu and go to tracking protection, you can add the very same list that Adblock Plus can use. So here's uh, Easy List. You can go ahead and add that one. And then here's Fanboy's List. You can add that one. And if you reopen the list page again, you can see that Fanboy and Easy list are added. So let's go back to Huffington Post and see how they work. No ads show up. The lists are uh, working. And if we go back to those lists and disable them individually and then refresh, the ads are back. Now Internet Explorer, because it has the very basic level of functionality in its tracking protection list. To enable or disable, you have to go back into the menus. So that's that's much less convenient. However, it still provides the same level of protection. So Internet Explorer users don't have to feel too left out. So there's an additional part of web browsing that you should be aware of. It's called uh, JavaScript. Uh, these are scripts that are used on pretty much every web page you come across, uh, including e-commerce sites such as Amazon and Newegg and places like that. Uh, they were required to do things such as process credit card information. Uh, however, you can exploit browser vulnerabilities and alter JavaScript to uh, steal information. And this is what hackers do with JavaScript. So Firefox has an additional add-on you can use called NoScript. And you just install it like Adblock. And once you restart the browser, you'll see in the lower right there's a NoScript icon. So this add-on is a whitelisting extent extension in the sense that if you go to sites, uh, all the JavaScript is disabled by default. So you can see all these sites are providing JavaScript to the page you're viewing. Notice we're only at Huffington Post, but you get other sites, uh, mostly ad sites and alternate uh, domains from the parent site that provide scripts with their ads or with other functionality. This, uh, these scripts are usually required to see the page correctly. Notice all the pictures are gone right now. But if I start enabling scripts, see HuffPost evidently provides the actual pictures for Huffington Post. So it's important to uh, look through these lists and enable scripts directly. Otherwise, sites start breaking. Additionally, if you go to if you go to commerce sites and you try to change account settings and things you need to start enabling scripts otherwise those changes won't be made or you won't even be able to look at the particular elements to change them so I generally don't use no script because of this all this setup you have to deal with uh, but it provides very safe browsing and the more you whitelist, the less you have to do. So once you get it all set up and it starts working for all the sites that you normally go to, it's generally not as intrusive. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, additionally, there are a few options in Firefox. You can enable or disable JavaScript. You can do this in Chrome also. Uh, advanced settings, usually I just uncheck these because I don't need JavaScript moving my windows around or replacing any of my context menu entries. So uh, I hope you learned a lot from this and I hope you can browse safely now. Thanks for watching.